from uh, Copwatch here with us today. Please, please give them a warm round uh, uh, welcome. Thank you. I want to first. Uh, I want to first thank everybody for coming out here. I want to uh, thank uh, the people that that asked me to, uh, that invited me to come out here to um, Sacramento to be a part of this. Um, I'm very grateful. I'm very humble, and um, because I, I'm I'm just a regular person, just like all of us that's out here. But everybody has an important role, man, and we have to protect each other. We can't allow this system to make us think that we are the enemy. And uh, I don't want to be too long, but I just want to let people know a little bit about uh, Ferguson, because the stories has been told, and I mean, the stories of that that's been told has been lies. Um, first of all, when Mike Brown was brutally murdered in the middle of the street, okay, Mike Brown did have his hands up. Okay, Mike Brown laid in the street, which was a modern day lynching. He laid in the street for over four hours. And, 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 uh, and, and like the other brother just uh, 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 spoke on that this is the type of things they do to to uh, to, um, to uh, instill fear in the hearts of the people to make them back down make them go in their house to say look we in charge of this but what happened that night when Mike Brown was murdered after they got the body up out of the street yeah somebody said the trash can on fire but what happened after that was the police came down our neighborhood like 40 police uh, cars deep. And they try to make us disperse, tell us that we got to leave, get out of there. But the people stood and they said, no, I am Mike Brown. And in one voice, we kept yelling at the police, I am Mike Brown, till they left the neighborhood. 40 pissed off officers, okay, had to leave, okay, in the daggone line through our neighborhood. We knew they was coming back. So we knew that tomorrow was gonna be a problem. So. They showed they colors very quickly. We had three trash cans set on fire in our neighborhood. That was on Sunday. That was the day after. Set our trash cans on fire so they could come, come, come in our neighborhood and say, we destroying our neighborhood. So now we had to come in there and we had to use lethal force. We had to do all of this all crazy crap. Anyway, they was not expecting to show out. And I show my love to those brothers, man that was out there on, on uh, West Florissant. I was not on West Florissant. We had a job down there in, in, in Canfield Green Apartments. That's where Mike Brown lay. We had a job to protect that memorial from being destroyed by police. So we got a team together and we say, look, our sole job is to make sure that this memorial stay here indefinitely, okay? Well, well at least in, until they acknowledge that as a memorial, and we get one erected in the middle of the street for Mike Brown, okay? And that because everybody around this 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 this, this United States, man, even outside the country, has came to Canfield and they shown their support. And then California, man, I mean, all y'all give y'all a pat on the back because how many cities have came out here to y'all city to support one of y'all dead, you know? But y'all took it upon yourself to come out to another city and say, you know what? Man, death is death, man, and I'm standing with the people that lost their uh, uh, family members. And me, myself, I did not know Mike Brown. I did not know the family. I did not know Oscar Graham. I did not know any of these people that died, okay? And I should have had because these are the people in which I walk past every day in the street, okay? And we have to break this daggone color thing, man, because they trying to use this color to divide us. They want to use religion to divide us. What's going over there with them Muslims over there and those Palestinians? Yeah, man, this is war crimes. Same war crimes that they are doing over there is happening in America. This is this is past civil suit law. I mean, uh, civil rights violation. This is human rights violation against the American public. We are at war officially. We have police officers that go around. And, 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 and perform armed robberies on a day-to-day -day basis under the cover of the Constitution, under the, under the cover of the law. This is illegal. That's why what we are doing with the help of Jacob, man, I love this brother so much, like he was my brother, Alex, they was there, man. These were two angels that came in. We needed more people with uh, uh, cameras at that time, okay? They, they stayed at my house that night because they had gas, they had smoked the people out so bad 
that we had literally people in our neighborhood laying on the ground soaking, asphyxiating from all of the smoke and the tear gas. These are taxpayers, okay? Nobody apologized to us. But they stayed at my house and Jacob got on his laptop and say, look, man, I'm going to do a GoFundMe, man, for Canfield so we can get y'all with some cameras. The next morning, we had $1,000 raised up, okay, unselfishly. Yeah. He didn't put himself out there and still, Jacob has still played a backseat role. Even Alex, he's been playing a backseat role through all of this. I had a call from Alex last week. They say, hey, man, somebody trying to say, uh, trying to discredit me and discredit my, you know, my, my contribution to the movement. And I said, don't worry about it. I'm happy to tell them who y'all are. And they've been out here. And like I said, they have done what what people need to start doing. Get behind the people that has already got a movement going and support them, man. I come out here, yeah, to tell y'all the story about Canfield and what's going on in Ferguson, but I'm here to support y'all, man. I'm out here to support because if we don't support each other, then we ain't got nobody to support us, man. And that's just the truth. But I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I, the last thing I want to say is the fact that we're starting a national movement against these daggone pigs, man. We're trying to have every police and every city under observation by American citizens, okay? And we can do that. We've already started. We done already given out 160 cameras in the Ferguson area and anybody that wanted to come get one. But, but we haven't just given cameras away. We've been educating people. Know your rights. Because before you can be protected by the Constitution, you have to know the Constitution so that it can protect you. That's why I had a shirt that said, stand on your rights for freedom. You must know your rights before you can stand on them. So we're teaching people their rights first. Then we're giving them a tool that they can use so they can document this misbehavior of police, these armed robberies that they perform on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, this has to stop, man, and we're gonna make a stand, and we got to do it together. Oh, I, got, I talk a lot, but I'm going to say this, like, man, don't be discouraged about the numbers that we got right here. Guarantee you, if the people that's right here right now, if y'all all were to become cop watchers, start watching these police with y'all phones or with a camera, start watching them, that right there would change. We have to stop them from keep killing so that we can address the murders that have already taken place. If we, if we trying to bring this country up on war crimes, we got to stop this damn killing. We got to stop the police from killing, then we got to stop each other from killing each other. All right. Yeah, I, I, I'm a little bit shorter. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just wanted to say that, um, that I'm really, really sorry about what a lot of you have had to go through. Um, it, it breaks me, and, and it's a big reason why I do what I do. And you know, so so just know that that, that we, we stand with you and, and we want next year to be a great report back and nobody comes, you know, forward with, with, with a new story of somebody being taken from them, from the police and your family. So I just, I wanted to pay respects and say, I'm so sorry. Um, and, you know, if you guys do, if you guys feel that, that, that cop watch or watching the police or, or, or getting your youth straight so that, that we don't lose anybody else, send them our way to We Cop Watch. Dave's on the program now. We're, we're we literally we're going to take this thing to a national level. If you guys are interested. We want to we want to work with you. We want to support you any way we can. So just remember, you can go to uh, you know we can watch a Gmail or the site or anything. Just contact us. We'll start getting resources to you. We'll, we'll talk. Um, but again, you know, thank you for having us. I'm really sorry, and I'm also you know really inspired to see how you guys have all come together in, in, in such a horrible time. And you guys are just so impressive. So thank you. Yeah.